People waiting outside the front door to get into Momocho Restaurant on Fulton Road in Cleveland. But Cleveland Fire Marshal Mike Deziak says the popular eatery was cited for not having the proper fire safety alarm, sprinkling system, and hood suppression system tied together inside. It's about life safety. And that's it. If you want to pack people in your establishment, you better all your life safety systems better be up to code. Ted Thielander, who worked with the National Restaurant Association, says Momocho is far from alone. He says dozens of downtown night spots don't have the proper fire safety equipment or occupancy permits. This has been a long time problem with building and housing that they don't uh, enforce the code. And it's a public safety thing. The Lander and Dziak pointed to the roaring fire at Steve's hot dog shop back in March as another possible example. And now, as you can see, five months later, Steve's hot dog shop has been torn down, but there's still major questions as to whether that building had the proper safety equipment. The fire investigators that we talked to believe that all new business owners should be subject to a seminar, making them file the proper permits. You tell them about fire, you, how to get their building permit, uh, electricity, that type of thing, where you have a group together, and then you can answer individual questions. Dziak is allowing Momocho's owner to keep his restaurant open, but should building and housing have allowed the location to open without the proper safety equipment? Should he have been allowed to serve food in the first place with a situation like that? I can't answer that. I don't know what the circumstances are, exactly how his system was.